Hi folks, Ellen Mara Collins, 1966 here, along with Bob, and tonight we are here in Shoal Harbor at Island View Bed and Breakfast. So let's go inside and take a look around. This is the new unit that she just recently added on to the original uh, Heritage Home. So we're going to take a little gander. So convenient. She usually uh, puts us in this unit when we come. It's a handicapped unit, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here we are. So here we have all the information that we need for the TV channels and for the room rates. And breakfast is included. And the lady that runs this place, she's a real sweetheart. She sits with us and drinks coffee in the morning and we have all kinds of uh, stories to tell. And there's all kinds of emergency numbers if needed. And uh, this is everything that we have around here. She actually uh, got a little in-house museum here, which you'll see in a moment, all the churches. And yeah, your basic uh, information package there talking about what's in the town of Carnville and Shoal Harbor because it's an amalgamated uh, area here. And it tells you all the distance. So we came from St. John's this morning. Um, trying to find St. John's to Clarenville is 189 kilometers. So yeah, just your basic information package. I mentioned we have a handicap unit, so the bathroom is uh, Actually, the shower is equipped for a wheelchair, which is beautiful. We have cleaning supplies and the necessities and lots of towels. And one thing here is the beautiful artwork. Typical Newfoundland scenes which is beautiful. So yeah, so here we have it. This is where we're going to be spending the night. So it's wheelchair accessible. And uh, somebody's been doing laundry. So it's all kinds of old relics here. Lots of old family photos. So there's a little kitchen. Pat's going to be up here tomorrow morning and she'll be preparing us breakfast. She has all kinds of uh, relics here. The dining room is already uh, set for tomorrow morning. And uh, I won't turn on the lights now. We'll show you that in the morning. There's lots of lighting here. Okay, Bob found the lights. Thank you, Bob. So this is the front entrance. And even though we're staying on the main level where the handicapped unit is, she has other rooms upstairs. I won't go up there this, for the sake I'm not sure if there's somebody else here tonight. So this is the, the front foyer coming in her main. That was the original house, I do believe. That was our premier who entered us into Confederation with the rest of Canada. I love the old, the old things that she has around. It's amazing. I had a little black and white teddy bear like this when I was little. This friends is the Newfie Bullet, the last of the trains to cross the province. And again, Beautiful of course Newfoundland artwork. Oh, that's our ode to Newfoundland. Typical of Port Newfoundland. Somebody uh, had dolls. 
Wow. Bob and I have stayed here many, many times. And, uh, yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Now, let's come back here. She's got her wall adorned with all kinds of certificates and stuff. So she's Patricia Devine. You'll get to meet her in the morning, I promise. She's got all her certificates from the bed and breakfast associations and certificates of appreciation and certificates of service. And that was uh, her receiving a cer certificate. Patricia Devine, absolutely. An amazing lady. Gorgeous. So good morning, folks. We had a good rest, and this morning. Bob and I are here, and uh, guess who's in the kitchen? Good morning, Pat. How are you? Good morning. I'm just dandy. That's good. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Well, for you today, you're having bacon, eggs, and toast, and you had your choice of white, whole wheat, or my homemade cinnamon raisin bread toasted with your breakfast. Yummy. Or, if you have a sweet tooth, you could have my homemade cinnamon raisin bread, French toasted with bacon and maple syrup. Now, if you have any sign of diabetes, you might need to take a pill first because that stuff is really sweet. <laughs> and, uh, and, well, you could have your eggs. If you're having bacon and eggs, you could have them fried or scrambled. Uh, and... You could finish your breakfast off with homemade sticky buns, which I hear are a real treat. Once again, they're really sweet, so you know what to do if, you know, if you can't eat too much sweetness. And I know for a fact that those sticky buns are delicious. Okay, and of course there's coffee, tea, orange juice. And the other thing about those sticky buns, when you arrive at the Island View, you can go ahead and help yourself to tea or coffee and help yourself to a sticky bun. Very low-cal they are. <laughs> now, if you like them warm and that gooey stuff just a little bit drippy, you can put the bun on a plate, put it in the microwave right there for 15 seconds, and everything melts just right. So there you are. Perfect. Uh, actually, it kills all the calories after that. <laughs> So, come to the Island View for a good feed. There you go. We've been here many times and we appreciate it every time. Great. Nice talking to you. Take care. Bye. Thanks. And Bob has already treated himself to a morning coffee. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, coffee. Kettle's boiled. And uh, breakfast is on the way. Actually, my favorite way to make eggs is really hard like this because I don't worry about breaking the oats. There you go. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Let me sit down and have a coffee.